1987 Toyota Turbo EFI. This truck was having a problem where every couple of days it just wouldn't start. Replace the distributor cap, replace the pickup in the distributor. Did not matter what air gap I was running, it would work two or three days, stop working again. Replace the igniter, replace the coil, same thing. Two to three days, stop working. Finally saw the trick on the GM igniters online and this mess will be cleaned up. I left it this way to ensure that it was going to work and solve my problem. So I wired in the GM EFI igniter on top of the Toyota igniter because if I tried to eliminate the Toyota igniter from it, the truck was not liking me. So from the see here BC looks like a S terminal on this from the first B the S terminal the green wire I have that coming over to the red wire on the igniter so on your igniter from the right one to third wire over goes to here the white wire which I can't read the label on it that I have comes over to the igniter one two three from the left the B connector I have that coming up and over and that is running to the ignition side of the coil and then the C wire, this black one, is running to the negative side of the coil. This truck has now been running for about eight months and is functioning 100% correctly starts every single day and runs the way that it should so if you're running into this problem because these igniters these aftermarket igniters just they're garbage and so this will get you by it I know a lot of other guys were using the GM igniters for non EFI systems when the igniter went out but this is how you can use it with an EFI system hope that helps you guys bye